find stuff or no? No, I'm just kind of reminiscing. This is where the skate shop used to be, so. Yeah. It's just kind of weird to see it not here, but it still looks the exact same. Yeah. Wow. No, no, it's still like the board racks and stuff. Oh, wow. So what is this store exactly? A fur store? East side fur supply. I don't like it. What is this? Six thousand dollars. Sixty-nine hundred. I kind of want to try that on. That's for women. A fur coat store. It's fine, we didn't need a skate shop anyways. So I was looking at my photos today and I stumbled across this video back in February of when I went into this fur coat store, which was my old skate shop and shop sponsor, Eastside Board Supply. You know, I just don't see that my pants are falling down right now. I heard that this place turned into a fur coat store. So I went into the mall, went and checked it out for myself and I was going around and I was filming on my iPhone and the guys were like kind of weirded out by it. They were wondering why I was in there going like this, looking around everywhere. They didn't do anything with the walls or the shelves. It looked the exact same as it did when it was Eastside Board Supply. Yeah, they were selling fur coats in there for $7,000 and I could not believe that the guy told me, I asked him, I was like, what is your most expensive fur coat that you sell? And he brought me over to this fur coat and it was $6,900. Why? Why would anyone need to spend $7,000 on a fur coat? Especially in a place like St. John where people don't have that kind of money to drop on a coat like that. Yeah, that place did not last long. I think they lasted like two and a half weeks and I asked the guy that. I was asking what the store was all about and basically what they do is they go out, they go around and find empty stores. When Eastside closed down, it was just completely empty. So they, they'll go to a place like that and they will move all their stuff in and just wait and see how their business is doing and then they'll go to the next one. So they lasted about two and a half weeks and then they shut the skate shop. The sk <laughs> I saw an angel. It's not a skate shop anymore. They moved on to the next location, so the store is now empty once again, and it has been for like two or three months now. It's pretty weird to think that St. John does not have a skate shop. If we want to go to a skate shop, we either have to go up to Fredericton, which is a little over an hour away, or Moncton, which is also over an hour away in the complete opposite direction. So the past few years, I've definitely taken it for granted and never realized how convenient having a local skate shop was. As far as I'm concerned, there is absolutely no plans of anyone reopening a new skate shop, which is very unfortunate. And I don't know, I, I'm not sure if our skate scene is gonna be affected by this because the, you can't go and buy a board right at the mall anymore. Like you have to travel the distance if you wanna get any certain skate products anymore. So we either have to travel the distance both ways or order our stuff online. The thing about online shopping, when I was younger, my mom bought me an Xbox 360 and it never showed up. We got completely scammed out of it. We did not get our money back. So I'm not, I'm not really huge on online shopping. Oh, my arm's hurting from holding the camera. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that footage because I thought it was pretty funny. I, I, the last clip where I was asking the guy if I could try on that $6,900 fur coat and he told me it was for women. I just thought that part was super funny. That's where our previous skate shop was located and it sucks to think it's not there anymore. It's, uh, it's really unfortunate. Hopefully sometime in the near future, they do something with the local skate shop in St. John because there is a lot of skaters from St. John and there's a lot of really talented skaters from St. John. And she's not gonna be easy for us without a skate shop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a local skate shop, go in there and give everyone a hug and thank them for, for just being there. I guess on that note, I will see you guys next time. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful.